Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing two important topics. That is the difference between email client template and email template. It seems confusing to many of the users, but today there will be no confusion. First of all, we'll discuss email template. So let me open this. Okay, so this is an email template. Very basic thing. You have the email layout, you have the name, you have the subject and the message. And it is on change request table. So when you see this table, sys event email template, it means it is a reusable template which can be used by any of the notification. Let me open the notifications. So in the system notification emails, we have this notifications. Open this. This is the change request table. Let me open one of it. So now if I move to what it will contain, you can see email templates. So now here, all those email templates which were created for change request table will appear. So you see the same one, change ITIL role, right? The same is here. So the basic motto is this email template is the one which we can use in the email notifications as a reusable content for n number of notifications. So I hope this is clear. So now let me close this and the second table is email client template. So here also you see certain templates. So let me open this one which is on incident table. So this email client template has name, it's on table, it is having this condition and it also have the content. You see subject, content type and body along with that it has the recipient and the sender configurations as well. Okay. So now this email client template is available immediately whenever you open an incident. So let me show you. Let's open incident. Let me open this email. So in case the user who is logged in want to send email directly from this interface. In that case, we can use email client template. So if you see there are three dots here, click on it. You have the option to email, right? So if you click on email, you see the same content here. And this content is coming because it is satisfying the condition of this. Uh, this is one, right? Active is true and short description is testing email client template. So this incident is having the same short description and it is active. That's why as soon as you click on email, you have the template available here. You can add extra recipient CC, BCC and 2. But the subject and the content and the body is according to the client email template. If I open some other incident, let's say this one. And let's go here, click on email. You cannot see that particular content here because it is not satisfying the condition. It is active but it does not contain that particular short description as this one. So let me copy this short description, paste it here. Now let me try it. You see the content is changed according to the email client template. So this is the basic difference between an email client template and an email template. So in case you have this doubt, I hope this is crystal clear now. So let me send an email now. Okay, let's try whether the email will go or not. Okay, send it. Okay, so now let's go to the email logs. This is the email. Check the body. The same thing here. So I hope this is clear to you now. I want you to share it with your friends and colleagues and get them subscribed to this amazing channel. Bye bye. See you.